Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. I'm recording this one later at night. I wasn't really feeling up to it earlier today. It's a little... it's 8 p.m. Not too late, I guess. What did we play, what did we play yesterday? We played the Barrage Hero with the Shell and the Spice where I made like two mistakes and almost threw the run. But didn't. Uh -huh. Now, I am all for playing new and exciting things. I, I've played gain attack when an ally is killed. It's not good. I could play this long shot hero, actually. Three turn timer. But I'm going to play this absurdly good barrage hero. I don't see a reason to put myself through hell if I don't need to. And that's where I'm at right now. It's good for the long term health of the series if I don't do things like that. Oh, this is kind of gross. Oh, I guess it's fine, actually. Just press bell. Uh, it doesn't quite pan out. It's okay, I should have hit... Yeah, I should have played this a little differently for a multi-kill setup, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, hope you're doing well out there. I'm doing fine. Been, uh, been on the hunt for something to do. I think I, on, on my list of things to do, need to start uploading to the VOD channel again. It's something that uh, I should do and then I should remind you guys that I'm doing. But I don't feel like I should remind you guys that I'm doing it because I've been forgetting to do it. Which is kind of how I knew the VOD channel would end up. But I started one and that's what matters. Uh, sunburst 2-2, two, two. it's simple. The first step is doing. But, I don't know, it's, I'll, I'll work on it. It's a mental battle. I... I don't know, it's always been interesting to me that I've been able to keep videos on the channel fairly consistent. I don't... I think barring Acts of Nature, I have not missed a day since, like, a little after I started the channel. Which is nice. It's, I'm like, I'm pretty happy that I've been able to put up videos consistently. But, anyway. What we got today? What's on the menu? I'm down to see the gnome. We can see the gnome traveler. That could be fun. I don't care too much about anything on the top path. Like, an extra unit draft doesn't really hype me up. But maybe we see something cool. We don't. Uh, this is like suspiciously close to the draft I just saw. I'm pretty sure I had Azure Candle Heart Mist Station. Go run it back. That was just disappointing. Funky Egg Bonnie. Uh, let's play Egg. It's fine. Now, I've been having, and I've been waiting a while to see this, I've been having a conversation, well not even a conversation, someone in my Discord asked me why it is that I think that uh, scrap enemies, or clunkers I should say, don't drop money. And it's because I've seen them not drop money in this fight. Now unfortunately, this Mimic is always going to drop money because he has a charm attached to him. Sadly for me. But, my belief is that Single enemy, like single clunker kills, do not give you money. But they time there was time stamped in the video as well. Uh, I did see it where I killed a clunker and it did it did give me money. So we're gonna find out right here when I kill this mimic. Oh. Oh, I see. It looks like it's got variants to it because it dropped money. It just dropped. A, a single gold. So there's probably a bit variance to how much money it drops. That's my takeaway. That one drops money because it had a charm on it, so we can't tell. But yeah, I think I, I there's probably variance and it's probably like zero to two is how much money they drop. If I were to take a guess after seeing that. But who knows? I know goblins uh, they only drop the money that they drop for getting hit. Wish I could just see it all, you know? I wish there was somewhere that they would tell me all of this information. But it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. I'm gonna play Sunburst 2-2. Two, two. 
I don't think we're ever... I mean, we, we don't get any more than this out of it, but that's good enough. We're strong. We have a barrage hero and a little Gazi. Everything is fine. This barrage hero is probably one of the best heroes they've ever shown me. 4-4 four, four with barrage. Like, 4, four attack, 4 turn timer with barrage and 9 HP. Very good. One of the better heroes I've ever been shown. And this frosting or lived. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I love going to the charm merchant, but the amount of money I can spend is limited. But I, it's like I get to pick one of three charms. So the question is, would I ever duplicate? The answer to that question is no. Would I ever go to the gnome and pray? No, I'm gonna go travelers. We'll go look at the shop. See if there's anything good. I'm allowed to play Taiga, I think. Taiga's fine. I have to be very careful about King Moko. Pull down skulls with a chuckle charm. Hilarious. Uh, pomegranate charm does nothing. We are looking to be playing back-to-back -back, uh, barrage hero runs. I am going to go moose charm. I will... The only thing that I'm really afraid of is King Moko. Blank mask is good. Golmus tea is good, and it's half off, so I can buy the, the crown as well. I will still potentially die to King Moko, so we have to be very respectful of the king. But other than that, this run is... I wouldn't say it's a lock. There, when I say it's a lock, I do two things. One, I make you feel like this video is over and you can leave. You're not allowed to leave. You have to watch all the way to the end or the analytics will dip and then they're gonna show me the gray number instead of the green number on my dashboard in the morning and I'm gonna go, oh no. The multiverse has been disrupted. That's what I say whenever the views drop on a video, actually. It's uh, just kind of force a habit at this point. But two, uh, I will get overconfident and die. Mostly mostly the first part, mostly the part about the analytics, but also I will lose the run sometimes. But primarily the analytics thing. That's what everyone cares about. Oh god, don't Tarblade. I actually think it's better for me to wait, because I kill Makoko. I bully Makoko's here. So, and so what we can do, because the way that we fall behind here is we let a Makoko spawn in. Oh, I didn't recognize that was Barrage. Just didn't cross my mind. Yeah, you see this idiot? Look at him. Look at this freaking bozo. Thinks he's gonna sneak one over on me. You never sneak one over on me. And he might sneak one over on me, actually, because he'll die to Taiga cleanly. And that's fine as well, because I'd rather do this. Oh, Mega Mimic is definitely our Skull Mist T target also. Yeah, I need to do it this way because I need to not let this Mini Moko live. That Mini Moko is getting pretty scary. A shame about Jun Jun. I guess it's fine. I'm almost out of health, though. Goodbye, Jun Jun. His time was done done. I'm counting it. It's fine. Blank mask. Uh -huh. I should probably be a little more respectful of Infernoco. Not a ton more, just a little. Just enough. Mega Mimic dies next turn and then I win the game. Do I win the game? Hold on. I think so. I think so, I think so. Well, actually, if I'm gonna win on this turn, I should play it this way. Well, maybe not. 
Because the Frostinger attacks, and I don't love that. Because the weakness is annoying. We can do it this way. Skull Mist T Hero. You're gonna do 12. Yeah, this is plenty. I don't die to anything here. We should actually dial up Snow Gobbler. Yeah, you're good, you're good. You both live. Kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than fine. This is a nice run because they have given me all that I could possibly want. Blank Mask and Skull Misty. I don't need much more. Don't be King Moko. Ow. And I missed the shop. Alright. Everyone, be on alert. I want you all on your best behavior in this fight. Don't forget to click the vase piece. Did you remember? Did you click on Chrono there? Be honest with me. It's a shame I don't get that Chrono. Um, take Snobble. I'm throwing Egg out of this run because I don't think Egg does a whole lot. So we're going to do this for our hero of the 12. And we're going to play critical on nothing. Okay. Be very respectful. Oh my god. Ew. I'm not being respected though. I'm respecting, but they're not respecting me back. This hand is kinda trash. Novel takes a three. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Blizzard Bottle Makoko is fine. Blank Mask Hero, I think, is usually the play. You can also, and I think it might have actually been better to Blank Mask Snobble. You're at three after this round. I need Snobble to freeze the Makoko, I believe. You're at three. Give me Jun Jun. Fine. Hero deals a nice nine. Oh my god, a second Grog and a second Moko head. Hate this for us. This is okay. Because So th there's one important thing you need to understand. Uh, if I play this this way, I will wipe the board on the redraw with Tarblade on the Grog. And then I can, I will have my heroes both attacking right as the next wave spawns. And if they attack right as the next wave spawns, I kill the things that are behind King Moko. It's just me versus King Moko with a full board. King Moko doesn't stand a chance. We also make a ton of money, but that's secondary. You may think I'm kidding, but I think that actually is secondary. And now Taiga gets out of my way. And we play Mega Mimic. Because Mega Mimic will, uh, will apply... I think Mega Mimic gets multiple instances of spice here. I'm not sure. We're going to Skull Mist T Jun Jun. Because I think Mega Mimic contributes more. I'm giving full, like, maximum respect to King Moko here. And I think it's almost overkill. But I like to be safe in this fight. Because I think that this is the easiest fight in the game to die on. King Moko kills you sometimes, and there's not a lot you can do about it. I have bad news for all of you Jun Jun believers out there. He's extremely done for. I could save him. I could save our Jun Jun. I don't think I'm gonna. Mm. Well, here's the thing. If I don't save him, I got this Pepper Witch to deal with. I'm actually going to save him. Go ahead, John. Okay, and we're more than fine here. We're very safe. Don't forget to call the Goblin. Hey, buddy. Where you been? Alright, great fight. I think that Snobble can now go live out his days in retirement. 
Good job, Snobble. Thank you for showing up today. You can argue the egg would have done well there too because it hatches into a multi-attacking unit, which is very good too. But it's a little more finicky. Because it takes three, you have to have it count down five turns. Snobble's very easy to do the math on. I should go money. I don't, I'm never picking a unit here. That was silly. Frog charm, oh boy. What unit would I ever take here? Well, I would not pick Grok. Did I pick Barry Sis? Nah. I have to pick one. I'll pick Groff, I guess. Groff can be good. But I would need, if I pick a bird, we can consider playing Groff. I'm taking out Snobble now. Our hero carries just fine with Blank Mask. Maybe I should take Blank Mask early. Like turn one Blank Mask instead. Moose Charm Lily Drek is so bad for him. That's a tragedy, brother. Sorry for your loss. It's gonna it was gonna take an extra second every turn because in this deck I have Blank Mask and Skull Misty, and mixing those two cards up is disastrous. Crumble can just swing. I don't care. Who in the taiga's fine. We go Jun Jun Mask and then Skull Misty it because that puts us at the breakpoint on our heroes of 12, which is exactly what you want. Because 12 on our heroes means they one shot entire rows here. And if I go here, this is a six kill. Pretty easy one too. Just mentally validating, yes. Correct. I am right. Sometimes it's easy to get lost in the sauce of making a big number, but 12 is a good enough number. I don't need anything bigger than that. And then we'll bring them in. I would like to hit... Oh wait. It's freeze grumble, don't care about papa. Fast redraw, I think for I think I'm drawing for a freeze. 12, 12. Sunburst 2 2. 12, 12, 7 is 19. It's a little off. That's alright. At the end of the day, I can just recall. Oh, I should have called him in. My mistake. Get out of their team. Uh, I guess I'll just hit the goblin for money on the way out. Bye, Jun Jun. I don't mind it. I think I'm always drawing a way to stop Big Lou here. It has to be Jun Jun or a freeze, right? Yeah. Even if I don't, I have my hero clone to deal with it. Alright, great fight. We're cruising here for sure. I'm starting to believe that Shade Mancers is a little better than I gave them credit for, but it's only really good if you get a good hero, because Blank Mask on your hero is very good. I think this clan I play hero runs the most. Because, I mean, this clan just has so much garbage. Noom One Charm, cool. We'll see what I'm gonna do with that. Broken vase, cool. Fade clay? Hmm. I see something interesting here. I see a cool little maneuver we could play. A little tactic, if you will. I never play Sunlight Drum because I think it's pretty atrocious, but. This is the setup for it, I do believe, and we give it critical as well. Look at this thing. And then I want... I don't want Taiga anymore. I want a blank mask on turn one. 
I'm gonna block charm my hero, I think. It's safer. I could play spark charm for more damage, but I think it's nice to be safe here. And this is very safe. And then we're chilling the rest of the way. I can do no Mega Mimic. We can do Shade Clay Sunlight Drum here. That's decent. I'd like to pick up another crown or two. Uh, probably I can get one more. And we'll see what it ends up like. So it goes Hero Blank Mass, Lil Ghazi, Shade Clay. I fucked my order up. I'm actually, I like doing this in the correct order because it's cool for you to see the correct order. I realized it as I played Lil Ghazi that my order was wrong. And uh, this is, I would normally, you know, normally I don't like to reset, but this is resetting to get around a bug. So I allow it. So what you have to do here is you can, you need to play Shade Clay first, basically. Critical bug, in short, critical bug, critical has trouble recognizing if the card to the right of it is destroyed. So... And by destroyed, I mean consumed. It won't register the critical, so you fix it by doing this. And this one is free. I can play... Junjun puts us at 12 again. I think I'm gonna hold off for Mega Mimic. So we're gonna play Snow Cake on Crunker and Sunlight Drum. Uh, we'll do what? We could do this one. I don't wanna let the Grink run free here. Primarily is my thought. Snow Cake is fine. I should open my image editing software. I do believe. Let's let that start opening while I finish the fight. Jun Jun here. Spuncher does take one of my blocks, which is a shame. I guess if I'm gonna hold it, I can I can afford to hold it. I think I will. And I'll wait and I'll get Mega Mimic on it instead. I think it's a little better. to work on Spuncher now. I need to play Mega Mimic. It's nice that Mega Mimic doesn't proc unless we're in row with it now. That is a lot of Spunchers. Okay. I'm going to redraw. Because I would really like Skull Mist T here, yeah. Because now I do 15s on my heroes. Uh, this hero is not. It's a 14. Yuck. It's okay, I'll kill him. This one doesn't die either. And because Kronker is here, I don't care too much for. It's fine. I don't care too much for letting the Mega Mimic swing, because I'm not going to kill too much here. I do 13. Sorry, this isn't Frostinger. This is Dugrinky. So we'll hit this one. We're pretty confident here. I'm pretty confident here. I don't want to speak for you. You can be as confident or unconfident as you like. I won't judge. Uh, yuck. Grings dealing three damage. What's this world coming to? So we just take the free turn timer countdown here. Three damage. Uh, it's a little awkward, I would say. I don't really want to get hit by the spike wall, but I don't love taking three. But it's three on the fake one, so I'm fine with this. But I could also take five on the fake one and then freeze the Grinky. But I think I'm gonna maybe want to refreeze Krunker. I'm gonna hit the spike wall. Final answer. I think that that is a choice where I could sit there and run the merits of it for a very long time, and it doesn't really matter. Nothing makes a big difference there. I do slowly run out of health, though, as we see. But then I also get the- like, we, we want to remove cards from this deck now, and then we're pretty happy. Well, I'm pretty happy. 
anyway. That Ice Lantern dropped five gold, six gold. I think it's the first combat. Or maybe it's just Mimic, I'm not sure. I could also just be wrong. But no, you saw that Mimic drop one. I think it's pretty viable to say that Mimics maybe just don't drop money or drop very small amounts of money. I'll have to go through. Well, I, I thought about looking through all of my old videos to find evidence one way or another, but then I thought about it again and I went, I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound like fun. Do this, it's fine. May as well take the free sunlight drum here. A little 16, this is a little 10. This fight's over. This is cool. Primarily, I just want to remove cards from the deck now. And pick up a few more crowns to make the setup a little faster, but mostly just remove cards from the deck. Uh, I won't be able to remove too many of them, but... You know. Too bad I can't play Flame Blade Charm on my hero, huh? Oh well. Now we'll play Health Spell and. Nothing really calls to me here. So I'll take the Redraw Bell minus one. It's fine. It's interesting how this game has changed my perspective on card games. I always like to pick card draw in Monster Train, if you remember. I don't care about it here. I don't really care at all about card draw in this game, because it doesn't really matter too much. And that's because of crowns, among other things. Ooh, yuck. Just a quick little thought. Did I get all my crowns back? I did. Just making sure, because I know how you guys get if I make that sort of a mistake. I know how it goes. I get a little ravenous in the comments section if I make that sort of an error. Hmm. I want to do it here. Hit this guy and then tar blade the other burster down. Should do that in the other order. I don't care for the way that I played that. I'd rather lose block on my fake hero. But that's alright. This fight doesn't really bother me anyway. Mega Mimic into Skull Misty is the whole run, more or less. Don't forget to kill this crab. What I do here doesn't really matter because of a block. I believe. I have to make sure I don't play so fast that I kill myself, because I can definitely do that here. Like a mini... You know, someone in my chat, shout out to Cash, he called this enemy, not this enemy, but the bursters, he called them turtles. I haven't been thinking about that lately. My man said the turtles. He, he actually, what he said to me was, uh, I'm really sick of this turtle fight in Wild Frost. And I went, what the fuck are you talking about? What on earth did you just say to me? Was my response. What turtle fight? And then he explained what he meant and I went, oh, I see. And I still disagree, but sure. You can call him that if you want. Yeah, the sunlight drum angle hasn't really been playing out how I wanted, and it's because there's too much garbage in the way. It's too many- and like, none of these cards are really that bad, but there's just a lot of them. Mm. This is a bad order. Oh, right, but I, I don't actually think that should work like that. The crawler there passes its block to the frontmost unit. But the frontmost unit is already dead. It just hasn't fallen off the board yet. I don't really feel like it should play like that. But what do I know? It just doesn't seem right because it's giving block to an already dead unit. 
I think it should give the block to one of the two units that is going to survive the round, personally. But that's a... it's small. It doesn't matter too much. God, I love these sunlight drums. Cool. One of the biggest problems I feel like Sunlight Drum always faced is that there was nothing I ever would want to play it on, but this run is good for it. I may even go so far as to say Jun Jun. No, that doesn't make any sense. That's not even a coherent sentence. You can't just say Jun Jun there. It's Jun Jun for it. Mm, I'll workshop it. I'll talk to the partners about that one see what they think. Won't Meg Charm do anything cool? I don't think so. I'll get it is alright. We should look at the treasure first. I'm okay. I can play, it just occurred to me that I could play Frog Charm on Mega Mimic. And that's just plus three damage I'm leaving on the table. If you already commented that about Frog Charm on Mega Mimic, I want you to go edit your comment and apologize to me, and then apologize to yourself, and then apologize to... Mm, I don't know, you can choose who you want to apologize to for the third one. I won't be picky. You can, you can do anyone for the third one. I'll leave it up to you. I'm gonna play the Mimic turn one. Alright, let's get it. I have to be cautious here. I will die if I disrespect Frost Guardian. I don't kill Frost Guardian fast. That is the first thing you have to recognize here. Now let's make sure we play these in the right order. So the other way you can deal with this, by the way, is you can fix this problem because it's not going to play. It's not going to give me the critical. You can, and shout out to whoever commented this, if you play another card, it rechecks and fixes the critical. I don't know who told me that, but someone told me that, and I went, oh, you're right. That's good to know. Now we're going to Sunlight Drum... I actually want to do it like this. And then these guys go up. And I go three damage here. Very nice. And I press bell. Mm. Oh well. I was going to try to Tarblade and cheat kill something like a Grink here, but I guess not. I uh, maybe... Maybe I don't care about that Ice Forge. Uh, I care. I don't want to let the Frost Guardian hit me here. I could have used it to stop Uba Bear. Do I want... I don't think I want to hold this Snow Cake. I think that's another thing I'm doing wrong, is I'm holding on to Snow Cake way too long in this run. Hmm. Not very cool here. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's fine. Our game plan is gonna be to slow play this fight. We're just gonna go very slowly. Uh, and I mean, I mean very slowly. Although I don't have to necessarily, because I do have Mr. Jun to tank the Frost Guardian. Oh, Jun Jun's also in the way of my Mega Mimic, but he does pick up the value, so it's kind of fine. After this round, right about here, I'm going to hit Skull Mist T. We could also, no, we'll do it now. We can race him from here, I believe. I do 34. Yeah, I win the race. I'm sure. 34. Here's 7. I'm one off if I play these. 
Which just means that I'm gonna play a Jun Jun Mask and a Blizzard Bottle. And we'll hunker down here. Blizzard Bottle. Because now my Jun Juns will deal with this. Could have a little Gazi do it too. We'll Berry Bell the Jun Juns. Maybe uh, the 11 attack Jun Jun stops Dr. Uba. You never know. Nope, it does not. Fuck that winter worm though, am I right, fellas? Hate that guy. Yeah, I think it's worth. We can just go like one damage here. Let the four hit Lil Gazi. Let these two ones hit the chump Jun Jun. I'm gonna kill this Junjun if I do this. I'll do here. It's fine. And now we just go gather around everybody. Sunlight drum. One of my heroes has to hit Uba Bear. It always goes like that, and that's okay with me. And we go here, and it's all over. Well, uh, it's not quite all over. Oh no, it is over. Huh. That actually surprised me. I did not count that. Maybe it was exactly so. I just, I did the rough math in my head, I estimated it, and I went, I am nowhere near. And I was wrong. Now, I should not be super confident in this fight. I should be respectful. And by be respectful, I mean I should bring Taiga or the egg, either one. I'm gonna bring, I'm actually gonna bring the egg. I want something to go sit on the top. So we can bring Taiga. Okay. Shade Clay? I just gotta make sure I do this right order. You. You, yes. You in front, Mega Mimic goes top, and then we go double drums. Don't just send it, Slam Skull Misty, and go here. Because I believe, yeah, that'll kill the Junker before it gets to swing on me. I probably could have done this without playing um, Taiga or the Egg, because I have Jun Juns to take the top. But most importantly, I just kill the Crusher, or the Junker, right away. Crusher, Bomber, Muncher, Jailer, Lancer, Junker. That'd be a good trivia question for this game. Uh, can you name all six of the the final boss pieces? This boss is kind of just like an Exodia, isn't it? Six different pieces of the same enemy. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Five damage hits Mr. Jun Jun. I put Crusher in Omega Jail. I'm going to press the bell to redraw here because I don't want to play two of these cards. I want to get back around the Sunlight Drum. Five damage hits my block. That's fine. Seven damage from Lancer hits nothing because the Lancer dies to Drum here. Be gone. Fade unto nothing and be gone forevermore. I'm gonna wait to take my screenshot because I'd really like to get one of the critical. Oh yeah, oh baby. We love to see it. I'll be right back. Alright, all done. Our opponents may now perish. It's actually better to wait a turn for Sunlight Drum here because I can wait for... I can wait and let Lil' Gazi attack and then get full value out of Lil' Gazi here. Just a minor optimization. We wait one turn and then we don't end up wasting one here. It's very small, because wasting one isn't that big of a deal, but may as well. It doesn't hurt. This would have been a run to go plus draw, and then with plus draw, just fast draw to my new one cards. But the deck just has too many cards to really do it, I think. This is lethal. It was always lethal, but now it's over. GG. That was a cool run. It's fun to play with cards that I don't normally play.
And nice to just kind of see the pieces there with Noomlin and go, hmm, I have a Noomlin charm, I have nothing to play it on. And there's a there's a drum in my shop. And I would not have done that without Shade Clay, I think. But with Shade Clay, right on. Alright. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.